All right, today is about shoulder stability in a closed chain position. Now, what I'm gonna show you today is moving from a fixed position when you're closed chain to doing something that's a lot harder and it's a moving position with a ball. Now, traditionally with closed chain pressing like this, when we're trying to fix, say, a push up or a bench press or dumbbell press or any sort of pushing movement where you've got serratus anterior problems, some wingings, weakness, you've got rotator cuff problems, we get them working on the wall and getting them working on a one arm scapular press like that. So meaning the scapula's moving, the elbow's fixed. Now that's great and it's a very, very good entry level where you're learning fixed object stability like a push up and you're trying to work on just pushing back and pushing forward, okay? Now, you can load that up with bands, make it harder pushing on load, but to add on stability and make it a wee bit harder or difficult stability-wise, you need some sort of moving object, all right? Because we always do stuff like on the floor where something's fixed, we don't do too much stuff when it's wobbly, and that's what you need for sport when the arm is moving around. So, what I suggest, use a ball. Now it doesn't have to be a Swiss ball, but these are really good to push on and they're a lot more wobbly than a smaller ball. So I like using this sort of thing. Now here, what you've got to try and do is the same thing, straight arm, so long lever. Now long lever is way more difficult, okay, stability wise, than short lever. And we use long levers in sport. So this sort of movement is going to be a lot harder. The trick is with this, is you've got to actually put some weight through it. So be prepared to sort of step away a little bit and put some body weight through here, all right? And then from that point there, what you're gonna try and do is do a smirk, do a smirkle, do a circle. This thing is actually surprisingly hard and don't overcook it. If you go too wide, you're gonna fall over. So you're just basically rotating this around. It looks pretty simple. It's pretty hard work coordination wise through the shoulder. Not too much load, and for a normal shoulder, you'll probably find, especially if it's your coordinated shoulder, you probably find it's pretty easy. However, like with my rotator cuffs here, I find this quite difficult. So even though I can do rotator cuff work and I can press on the floor, okay, as soon as I get to the point where I have to combine everything together, so I have to work on my serratus anterior, I have to work press forward, and then when I start rolling around in here, I can really feel my instability at that point. I can feel the fact that I don't have as much tendon in that supraspinatus than I used to. And I can really feel the weakness in there. And this is a good thing to sort of try and start doing. If I want to return to such things as, you know, sport things like that, I have to try and improve this part pre and post surgery. I have to improve how well I can control a moving object under load. Because that'll give me a really good mind to muscle connection, if you like to try and improve how well I can stabilize, how well I can hold that ball in the socket, and that gives me my stability of my joint, which is so important for when you're doing any sort of racket, sports, throwing sports, throwing a ball, that sort of thing. It's so important to get this going. So this is a really nice one to do. Just make sure you still got to think long lever with this. Remember, it's a lot harder to do long lever than short lever, and don't overcook it. Don't go too past too far past what you can achieve. And just make it random. You don't have to do 10 sets of one way and 10 sets, they'll just go round and round. Keep it random. Don't go too high on the press. See you next time.